Hi, in this presentation we're going to talk about the design tool and the different modes it can be launched in. There are seven different modes depending on who the end user is. For example, a private store admin or a retail store end user. The design tool will automatically be launched with the right permissions and features needed to create or edit templates. Don't worry, you don't need to know all the modes, but we've listed them here to give you a feel for the versatility of our design tool for creating, editing and working collaboratively with designs and templates. The seven modes of the design tool are two modes for creating master templates for retail and private stores, three modes for private store end users to edit corporate templates, one mode for retail store users to edit store templates, and an unrestricted mode for users to create and collaborate on designs and ideas. Depending on which store the design tool was called from, we'll open either a blank template with one page and no objects on its canvas, or open a copy of the master template ready for you to start editing it. In the retail store or collaborative mode, you will have to select a template from template categories first and then start editing. OK, let's start by explaining the main menus and features of the design tool. The main screen is broken up into four main areas. Across the top of the screen is the page menu bar, where you can add and remove pages in your template. At the bottom is a toolbar for adding new elements to the page. The canvas area for the highlighted page is in the centre of the screen. And finally, the property bars which slide in from the left when objects are selected on a page. You'll also find other useful tools to collapse, zoom and progress your templates to make editing and viewing easier. You'll also find other useful tools to collapse, zoom and progress your templates to make editing and viewing easier. Let's begin by explaining pages, objects and their respective functions. When you open any template, you will see the first page. There is an exception. A smart form may appear before you see page one, but we'll talk about smart forms later and how they can save your end users time and typos when typing and editing templates. You can create up to eight pages and the pages can be set in different sizes and dimensions using millimeters, inches or pixels. Each page or canvas area can be a different size from any other page. You can switch to other pages by clicking on each page icon from the top bar. And if you're creating a master template, you can add, remove or change the page order. Each page also has a page size ratio attribute that helps you to create larger documents on the screen without creating large files for loading and rendering to PDFs. End users can't edit master templates. They can only work with a copy, but they can't add, remove or change the page size, ordering or ratio as defined by the master template. By clicking on a page icon, you'll see that the canvas area is framed by a bleed area allowing you to place images that overrun the edge of a page deliberately. You can add three types of objects to the canvas. These are text objects, image objects and backgrounds. Text objects are further broken down into two types. Text blocks, which can be lines and paragraphs, and text presets, consisting of three pre-formatted lines which are commonly used for headings. To add a new text object to the canvas, Click on the Add Text button found at the bottom of the screen. Select your desired font and then select a heading type. This will add the heading text line to the centre of your page area. You'll see the text property panel slide in from the left, where you can further modify the text properties, such as font styling, character spacing, colours and sizes. You'll see three tabs on the text property panel. The text tab is particularly powerful. From here, you can drop variables from the user profile table or smart form to auto-merge into the text line or paragraph, saving the user from editing it themselves. Please note, you can create user profile and smart form variables from the store MIS module. These forms will automatically appear when a user logs into a store or launches a particular template. You can also create bullet point lines and make whole lines collapse if any variables are not present or null. This is great for address blocks that dynamically shrink if certain fields do not exist. The Align tab helps you arrange your text objects on the page with reference to other objects. Each object can be thought of as a layer, where layers can be ordered in appearance, for example from top to bottom. 
Text objects or layers have other great editing features that can help with easier formatting and tighter brand control. For example, you can also lock the position of text lines and blocks, lock users from editing text, and constrain the proportions of text font sizes when expanding text boxes. You can even squeeze all the text entered into a box without allowing the user to change the text box size. Objects on a page can be marked as an overprint element to be shown on the screen but not appear on the output format, for example the PDF or JPEG file. Objects can also be marked to appear on an overlay layer as well. An overlay layer is an additional spot colour layer that can be used to reference which objects can be varnished or cut out on the printed item. Let's move on to adding elements such as pictures and logos. Click on the Add Element button at the bottom of the screen. You'll see this panel is split into numerous columns with images in them. Like text presets, you can also add your own images to your profile and categorise them as pictures, logos, illustrations, frames or shapes. Any images you can add can later be deleted from your library. Please note, we recommend that you upload SVG Scaled Vector Graphics in Adobe Illustrator using the SVG format 1.1. Remember to expand the objects in Illustrator before saving and don't use complex shading. Try to stick to flat colours and closed objects to import into your libraries. When you import SVG objects, their embedded colours will also be imported and be available in your palette. Changing the page's background is possible by clicking on the background button found at the bottom of the screen. Just like the elements panel, from the background panel you can upload your own SVG or image backgrounds or set solid base colours for your background here. If you upload pictures, for example PNGs or JPEGs, you can zoom, pan and crop your images to fit any image placeholder including the background. Please note, text and image elements can be grouped together, moved or aligned by holding down the shift key and selecting multiple objects. The group panel will slide out from the left where you can then select your desired action. Grouped objects can also be moved by 5 pixels at a time or 1 pixel at a time by holding down the shift key whilst moving. Similarly, you can cut and paste objects with Ctrl C and Ctrl V respectively. If you launch the design tool from a retail store by selecting a particular product like business cards, you will see the template panel open automatically first. From here, you are invited to load one of your saved templates for business cards or select a template from a library. As the administrator of a retail store, you have the capability of linking this template library to MyPrintCloud's global template libraries or you can create your own library for business cards or any other product. You can also use user profile variables to auto-merge user credentials into your template designs to make it easier for end users to visualise their new business cards with their information. Please note, user profile variables can be created from your MIS module. You can create variables which require users to select from a list or enter into a masked input field. You can also set a tag to make a field mandatory. If your store users launched the collaborative design tool from your store, then they will see Might Print Cloud's global template libraries for collaboration. These templates are designed by us to encourage your store visitors to keep coming back to create and share their designs with their colleagues. From here, they can email their concepts to anyone by simply entering in the email address and giving the recipient access to a separate copy of their design. On receipt and acceptance of the email invitation, the new user will be added to your store's CRM for future marketing so you can upsell your services to them. The user can also email you this template for a print quote. Whilst designing a template, a user can download it in JPEG or PDF format and separate it in CMYK or spot colours. Users can also opt to output an additional overlay layer. By downloading and printing the template locally, the user can check the positioning and colours of objects on each page for accuracy. Please note, not all features and functionality are available to every user. This is determined by how the designer tool was launched and by who. 
For example, the ability to add pages or to add a design to a product and then add it to the shopping cart may be restricted. Finally, users have the ability to upload fonts and update a document's colour palette. Font styles and SVG colours are automatically added to the template's base properties. This restricts end users from having too many choices, which helps you to maintain control of your brand. That concludes our introduction to the design tool. Happy creating!